so according to ACLU.org, uh, 100 million people fly in the United States every single year. Um, even with these large numbers, it's still 50% of these people are, are scared of, of something that's still flying. Um, Fear of flying is really irrational and it's largely built on misunderstandings and misconceptions about um, things that are associated with flying. Um, so some of the fears that lead up to fears of flying are listed here and uh, I'm going to talk about the four most common ones which are the top four there and uh, why they're really nothing to be worried about. So um, fear of heights is a uh, Again, largely based on, on misunderstandings. Uh, people think the higher you go, the more dangerous it is. When in fact, the opposite is true. Um, uh, airplanes are designed so that they, they want to be in the air. They want to fly. So the higher you go, it's more of a uh, buffer zone between you and the ground, which is where it's dangerous. Um, a good way to think about that is, is a guy with parachutes who were to jump off the moss, uh, wouldn't do anything. He'd just fall, probably break his legs. But if you were to jump on an airplane, it has time to build speed and create lift when the parachute works. The same way it works with wings. The higher you go, the more they work. The next one is the fear of turbulence and weather. Uh, according to wikipedia.org, turbulence is a fluid regime characterized by chaotic and stochastic pro property changes. Um, what that basically means is just you're in turbulence, you're just flying through air that moves differently than the you know, air mass around it. Um, a good way to think about air is it moves the way fluids move. So if you were to be on a sailboat sailing through a lake and you went through a wave of some other boat, it just kind of rocks around a little bit, but you're not in any danger. Um, oftentimes pilots fly out of turbulence not because it's dangerous, it's because it's annoying. Uh, they're in it all the time and they just want to get out of it. Um, as far as weather goes, these are some of the uh, weather charts that pilots have to look at before they, they take off. Um, there's a winds aloft chart, a uh, surface analysis chart, a uh, radar summary chart, convective pilot chart, and a uh, weather prognostic chart. Uh, those are both weather prognostic charts. And they just show different things about the wind, uh, visibility issues, convective weather, cold fronts, pressure systems. Um, all those things that the pilots know about where they're flying before they take off. So anything they're flying through, they know it's out there, and generally speaking, it's going to be safe. Um, the next one is the fear of crashing, which is obviously a legitimate fear, but it's largely built on the imagination and things that we don't really know about. Um, so this is a, oh, uh, crashes are generally broken down into three different categories. There's pilot error, there's a, a mechanical failure and then sabotage. Um, when it comes to pilot error, uh, as you can see, there's a list here of things that pilots have to go through in order to get licensed compared to a simple driver's license. And most of us feel pretty safe on the road, even after hearing um, how dangerous it is today. Um, and this is like a comparison of what the pilot's trained to do compared to what driver's trained to do. So it really shouldn't be a, too much of a fear. Um, as far as mechanical failures go, uh, here's a, a list of the inspections that an airplane has to go through every single year or 100 hours. Every 100 hours the airplane's running, it has to be inspected by the FAA. Every uh, single year there has to be an annual inspection. Uh, Altender and static inspections of the systems in the airplane that uh, have to get checked out every 24 months. Transponder gets checked every 12 months. As you have things there that have to be on every 30 days and every 24 months. So, uh, generally speaking, the airplanes, they get looked at often and they're, they're pretty, pretty safe stuff. Um, as far as sabotage goes, since the attacks of 9 11, there have been many, many laws passed to make uh, flying more safe for passengers. Um, George Bush allowed $20 billion to be uh, put in the airport, the airline industry, for security purposes. Um, as we know, they're screening airports now, the air marshals are more frequent, and uh, cabin doors to the, the airplane stay locked down. So. Alright, the last one is the fear of the unknown. Um, you know, it's different sights and sounds and sensations that, that people 
people don't even know about and they're flying or they think it's something that's dangerous, but it's really not. Um, the FAA and the National Transportation Safety Board, and then I have the uh, United Airlines and American Airlines up there. They, you can go to their websites and they often, like they produce a lot of uh, material just informing people about what flying is all about. Um, so if there's something you don't know and you want to say, you go research it and, uh, you know, you realize that that noise or that, that feeling is just normal. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, so in conclusion, I hope that uh, next time you guys are flying, you think about all this stuff and feel a little more safe.